Xanax? Xanbars. Benzos? Totem poles. Up John. Xannies. Handlebars. Any medicine that has that many street names, you better think very carefully before you put it in your body. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Bradley Fossier and I made Postscript because I was tired of my patients getting prescriptions from me and then getting horrible information about them online. So today I'm talking about a very popular prescription medication. It's called Xanax. The generic name is called Alprazolam. In this video I want to talk about what Xanax does, what are some of the studies that have looked at Xanax and some of the long-term consequences of taking it, what are some of the dangers of using it, what can it help you with. So Xanax is in a category of medicines called benzodiazepines. Benzos. You might have heard of other ones like Valium, Ativan, Clonopin. Those are all in the same group of medications. I have an example to help you understand how Xanax works. So you go to the grocery store, you get a gallon of ice cream and you just let it sit in your freezer. And you don't really plan on eating it right away, but if your dog dies, your girlfriend breaks up with you, you get fired from your job, you know exactly what you're doing. You're going to the freezer, opening up that gallon of ice cream and slamming it and immediately cold relaxation comes over you. Guess what? Your brain is exactly the same way. It stores up a gallon of ice cream, figuratively speaking, and whenever you need that slow wash of calm to come over you, it opens up that gallon and serves it to your body. In physiology speak, that gallon of ice cream in the brain is called GABA, and Xanax goes straight to those GABA places in the brain and increases their effect. It says, hey, Let's turn on GABA. And what happens when you turn on GABA is all your nerves relax. All the signals between nerves calm down. Your body feels calm, your muscles relax. And so it's got a very calming effect. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, it's the exact same mechanism that alcohol hits. So alcohol also affects those GABA receptors. It also opens the ice cream in the brain. But I would argue that Xanax is a little bit more dangerous than alcohol. Why? While well, alcohol you have to sip over time, fill up your stomach and you get full. Xanax is a tiny little tablet, you pop it and get the same effects in a very controlled, released manner of a pill form. So yeah, Xanax is basically alcohol in a tablet. I don't think that's off base. So if we're comparing Xanax to other benzodiazepines, it is one of the most potent of all of the benzos. So 0.5 milligrams, one milligram of Xanax can be equivalent to like five milligrams to 10 milligrams of a medicine like Valium. Relatively speaking, Xanax packs a lot more punch, which makes it even more dangerous than its brothers and sisters in the same family. Something you need to know about when you take Xanax is how it works in your body. Xanax comes on very quickly and comes off very quickly. This is what your body feels when you take Xanax. Whoop, pill goes in. Within 30 minutes, you get this wave of relaxation that's pretty quick acting. But then over an hour or two, it precipitously drops off and you feel this crash. And so there's been studies that have looked at that and have shown that crash, when you come off of Xanax, can actually make you feel more anxious. They call it rebound anxiety. And that can make you feel like you need to take another tablet. So you can see it can lead to a vicious cycle. You take the pill, you feel good for a very small amount of time, you crash. Oh, I'm back to square one. I think I need another tablet. Oh, same roller coaster. And you're getting this vicious cycle of taking pill after pill after pill, which is why Xanax can become so addictive. Also, what about the long-term effects? There have been studies that have looked at it, and I can safely say, I think you'll be better off if you can try to get yourself off of Xanax. I'll link some studies below, but it's been related to long-term mood effects. Memory impairment is a big one. There are also some black box warnings with Xanax. And what Xanax's insert says is, this can slow your breathing. So if you take too much Xanax, you can imagine it's slowing down everything, slowing down the nerves. So it can also slow down your breathing, making it particularly dangerous if you take too much or if you take it with another medicine that slows down your breathing, like a narcotic, all of these have a combined effect of slowing down your breathing. And you don't even need the combined effect. Xanax by itself can slow down your breathing to a dangerous level. Obviously, you don't drink with it either. Like I mentioned earlier, it hits the same receptor that alcohol does. So imagine each pill of Xanax is like a shot or two of alcohol. The other problem with Xanax is getting off of it. So some people are like, okay, fine, doc. 
I want to get off the Xanax. Well, guess what? Your body has been slowed down for so long through this medicine, it's very similar to getting off of alcohol. You'll have withdrawal effects. And since your nerves have been relaxed for so long, there's the danger that they all of a sudden want to stimulate themselves to an extreme. You feel anxious, you feel jittery. Your heart rate can go up, your blood pressure can go up, which can cause seizures. Seizures are basically all your nerves firing at the same time. So what can Xanax do for you? It can calm you down. If you are having a really bad phase of anxiety, Xanax can be a great short-term solution, but even in the category of benzodiazepines, if you really need something for acute anxiety, you're having panic attacks, anxiety attacks, there's safer options. Some that the profile doesn't roller coaster up and down like Xanax, so Clonopin, Ativan, that come on a little slower, come off a little slower, I'd much prefer that. So for that reason, I almost never prescribe Xanax to folks because I just don't think it's a good medicine. I think it's dangerous and I think I'm doing a disservice to people by putting that prescription in their hand. So in summary, I would say Xanax can be dangerous. It is very potent. It is similar to alcohol in a pill form. You can withdraw from it. You can get rebound anxiety, which makes you feel like you need more of the tablets, but it can have a role if you're having a dental procedure or surgery or something and need it once or twice to relax. It can help with that. So thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you learned something today. That's Xanax or Alprazolam in a nutshell. Click the like button, push the subscribe button. Thanks for checking us out.